Hey guys, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. All right, so today I have a best to worst collection video of one of my most favorite perfumes of all time. This is the Hypnotic Poison Collection that I own. <laughs> there are some other flankers that I don't own, but today I'll be talking about these four. This has been requested by some of you also when I had this in my background. So what I'll be doing is I will be giving mini reviews of four of these fragrances in order of when they were released from earliest to latest. And then at the very end of this video, I'll be ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite of this collection. So let's just begin with the original Hypnotic Poison EDT. This version was released in 1998. Some notes in this one are vanilla, almond, coconut, sandalwood, and plum. You guys, this is my most favorite designer perfume ever, I think. <laughs> and as the years go by, I'm starting to realize that, you know, I'm not sure if anything can top this. Of course, this is just my personal opinion, but every time I smell this, I kind of fall in love with it over and over and over again, as if it was like a love at first sniff. So this smells like, to my nose, a warm and vanilla marzipan scent. It's quite cozy and there's this beautiful nuttiness in here. It's warm, delicious. It is, in my opinion, the best designer gourmand fragrance that I've ever smelled. It's the best out there. It makes me feel fantastic whenever I wear this and I just feel like there's this perfect amount of sweetness in here. It's very rich, it's smooth, it has this really nice texture to it that's kind of buttery and yeah, I know some people have said that when they smell this, they get the Play-Doh or a root beer scent. Yeah, I guess I can kind of, I can picture that. And honestly, I have gotten the Play-Doh thing in here too. Um, but for me, it does not bother me at all. I actually really like it. And the scent of root beer to me smells good too. So <laughs> I uh, absolutely adore this. I love the bottle as well. I love it first sniff for me. When I first tried this perfume, I was at a Sephora many years ago and um, I sniffed it and I decided to buy it right away along with another perfume. I think it was Paco Rabanne Black Excess. I still like that one, but this one blows everything out of the water. This is fantastic and I keep on gushing about it. So <laughs> that's the original version, the EDT, released in 1998. Okay, so the next one here is Hypnotic Poison Eau Sensuelle. Okay, so this one was released in 2010. This one is also an eau de toilette concentration. Some notes in here are vanilla, orchid, orange blossom, ylang ylang, sandalwood, tube rose. And basically, this version is a fresher and lighter, brighter version of the original. In the opening of this, I get some citrus at the top, even though I don't think there are citrus notes listed in this one. There's also no almond notes in here, and I barely get any marzipan as well. The texture of this one isn't as thick as the original. And to me, it's just basically a more transparent version, more floral version of the original. I do definitely get a sweet vanilla in here, the same that I got in the original. The perfumer of this was, um, is <laughs> Francois Demachy. And I believe in this one, he substituted some florals and used Ylang Ylang in this one instead of the jasmine that is present in the original one. And also he added some orange blossom in here. So to me, in the opening especially, this is very different from the original. And I guess for the people that found the original too cloying or too heavy, I think this one would be more suitable. It's more soft. It's more versatile. 
It's not as gourmandy as the first one. And it dries down into this beautiful creamy vanilla floral scent. Almost like a vanilla ice cream eaten out of a wooden bowl. And way down in the dry down of this one is where I kind of get the original um, Hypnotic Poison EDT vibes. But it's definitely not as heavy or thick or rich. But it's still beautiful. So that's the Hypnotic Poison Eau Sensuelle. The next version here that was released was this one. This is Hypnotic Poison Eau Secret. They decided to change the bottle shape and make it taller. This one was released in 2013. And some notes in this one are vanilla, jasmine, orange, neroli, and bergamot. Well, I find this version to be zestier than the other two. Actually, zestier than the essential or essential version. It's kind of sharp in the opening. And in the opening, I almost get like a bitter citrus kind of scent. Um, the citrus in here listed there's orange and bergamot um, but i also find this version very different from the original in this one au secret there aren't any warm marzipan feelings here <laughs> or notes um, but i do get a faint nuttiness in this one reminiscent of the original this version is also quite fresh just like the au sensuelle version it's safe, I think. It's it's wearable, but it's definitely not as interesting as the EDT version. So as this fragrance dries down, what I'm left with is a sweet vanilla along with a faint floral scent. And the floral that I pick up most, uh, at least on me, is the Neroli and also some light musk so basically for me this is kind of like a, a watered down version of the original almost as if they took out all of the good stuff from the original and kind of stripped stripped all that goodiness <laughs> uh, from the original and kind of left behind a quite ordinary smelling vanilla musk and floral scent I definitely don't hate this perfume. I think it still smells nice. It is very easy to wear, um, but I'm just not so crazy about this version, especially comparing it to uh, the original. So that's Hypnotic Poison Eau Secret. And the last version here is Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum. Okay, so this one was released in 2014. Some notes in this one are licorice, vanilla, almond, and tonka. And in this version, they brought back the almonds that I smelled in the original version. And they added some black licorice. And I happen to love the scent of black licorice. So I was very happy about that. And this one is a deep, rich, spicy, dirtier version. It also has a lot of woodiness in here. And I also find this version to be less sweet than the original. I still get some nuttiness in the Eau de Parfum version, but it's kind of like a spicy nuttiness. The dry down of the EDP well, I get, I still get the black licorice here. It's quite prominent and it also adds a nice smokiness. So in a nutshell, this to me kind of smells like a burnt almond cookie. And maybe if you're drinking it with like a black licorice tea with a side of like a bowl of marzipan sitting beside the, the, the tea. And yeah, it's just basically a darker um, version of the EDT, the original, and very sexy, and I absolutely love this version so much. 
So those were my quick reviews on these four hypnotic poison versions. Let's rank these. My least favorite of these, I would say, well, let me just say that I do love all of them still. And I'm happy that I uh, was able to, you know, pick these ones up, even though these two, I believe, aren't available. But where I live, I still see them floating around on eBay. So um, my least favorite of these would, the last one would be Hypnotic Poison O Secret. For me, it's just a watered down, kind of not so similar version of the original. It's pleasant. Um, the opening of this I found was kind of sharp with that um, almost bitter citrusy kind of opening. And it's nice, but you know, comparing it to the other ones, I think this would be my least favorite. My third favorite would be the Osensuel version. This one is just a more floral version and lighter version of the original. It's still beautiful. I absolutely love it. And um, I would say this is more versatile than the original. So it's easier to wear and it still smells fantastic. And I love it a lot. So <laughs> that's the third uh, in third place. My second favorite of these is the EDP version. And yeah, this is a spicier, sexier um, hypnotic poison with black licorice uh, and a smoky almond and like a burnt almond cookie. And it's a delicious gourmand and I absolutely love this too. <laughs> I love all of them, you guys. But yeah, this one is just really, really great and um, probably maybe even a little easier to wear than the original because the original is quite thick and uh, can be too heavy or cloying for some people. And of course, my most favorite hypnotic poison is the original EDT. So yeah, this is the love of my life, you guys. Whenever I wear this, I feel like I'm in gourmand heaven. It makes me happy. It makes me feel warm and cozy. And I just love wearing this, even though sometimes I do wear it in hot weather and I, you know, I have to be careful with how many sprays, but the scent itself is phenomenal. It just is the best gourmand designer women perfume, in my opinion. And, you know, I was crazy about it when I first tried it. And to this day, I'm still crazy about it. So <laughs> that was my collection video of Hypnotic Poison and some of the flankers. I would love to hear what you guys think of these perfumes. If you've tried it, maybe you can also say in the comments which is your favorite. I would love to hear that as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.